In this video, we will learn about adrenal insufficiency. To understand that better, we should know how the adrenal gland hormones are regulated. Hypothalamus releases a corticotrophin releasing hormone which acts on anti-J pituitary gland to produce ACTH. ACTH acts on adrenal gland to release cortisol and aldosterone. So when I tell primary adrenal insufficiency, the problem is in the adrenal gland. Okay, secondary adrenal insufficiency meaning the problem is in ACTH because ACTH is not produced in the pituitary gland uh, from the pituitary gland. So ACTH uh, cannot will not be stimulating the adrenal gland. So adrenal gland doesn't have any stimulus for the production of these hormones. So primary adrenal insufficiency, remember, there is a defect in both cortisol and aldosterone hormones. In secondary adrenal insufficiency, only cortisol is less because the primary stimulus for aldosterone is angiotensin 2 which comes from renin angiotensin system so if a patient has primary adrenal insufficiency replace the patient or give replacement for both cortisol and aldosterone hormone because the gland itself is defective so it cannot produce any hormones but if it case of it's a case of secondary adrenal insufficiency remember only ACTH is defective so when ACTH is defective it will not produce cortisol Aldosterone levels will still be normal because renin angiotensin system also regulates aldosterone production. That's a major stimulus for uh, releasing aldosterone. So, in case of secondary adrenal insufficiency, replace only cortisol. If it's a primary adrenal insufficiency, you have to replace cortisol and aldosterone both for the patient.